Hey guys, it's Happy Pineapple and a Blueberry. Today we're going to be doing the list of hardest levels in Geometry Dash. Let's get right to it. Okay, so the first level is Stereo Madness. So, it is to me the easiest level in the game because it's a really good level for beginners. Like that face proves it. And I already finished it because it's one star, three coins, and it and I don't, it's just really easy to me. Okay, so the next one is back on track. So this one's also another easy one. This one um, introduces jump pads to you. And it is two stars. It means a little bit trickier, but it's still pretty easy. Right, next one. Hold up for me. Is base after base. Yes, you guys might be wondering, why base after base? What about Polargeist or dry out? I don't know, I just finished this one way before them, which is weird. And it's five stars instead of the other ones. I don't know, I guess I'm a little weird. So yeah, and the next, the next one. Holy Geist. This one introduces, introduces um some jump orb that's what i was looking for it is three stars meaning it's a little harder different face let's do the next one dry out is when they first introduced being like upside down fully and it's it, it's pretty cool and it's four stars and it has that face and i guess we'll be moving on to the next one next one Jumper. Yes, I I am skipping can't let go because that you'll you'll find out why in a few in a minute. So this one is seven stars. It's pretty hard, and it, it, it's just a lot easier because um, can't let. Yeah, I'll explain in a minute. It's like a there's like a lot of jumping and like jump pads and stuff. So yeah. And now, can't let go. This one is harder because it has a huge, well not huge, or long um, upside down part that I think is pretty tricky. And uh, I always do finish jumper before. And it is six stars. And yeah, that is the face, it's yellow. Next one is cycles. Not, snip, sorry, is cycles. So this level, it's a little tricky. It's, yeah, they introduced the ball to you in this level. It's a pretty tricky thing. And yeah, it's nice and, <laughs> so I couldn't decide if I was gonna put X step. I couldn't decide if I was gonna put X step before theory of everything or the other way around. I think I'm gonna put X step. Cause I did beat a little before it and it's 10 stars. Yeah, I did beat it a little before I beat um, Theory of Everything. I'll tell you about that level in a few minutes. And yeah, it's, they they do the ball again. They, they introduce you to like upside down jump pads. Ones that turn you upside down. And yeah, and okay, next one. Next one. Theory of everything. This one, it says it has 12 stars, which seems like it'd be really hard, but it's not that tricky actually. It It's a little hard at the beginning, but once you get into the level, you kind of figure it out. And it's pretty nice, sorry, my finger was just in the way. And yeah, okay, next one. Electroman Adventures. This one is 10 stars and it has that face. And yeah, I don't really have anything to say about this level. It, you, you go pretty small on this level. Well, I don't know why I'm saying that. All right, so next one. All right, so I actually messed up instead of 
Adventureman Adventures, I think I was supposed to put Blast Processing. This one's a little easier. So, sorry, it's just my friend texting. And yeah, it's 10 stars again. Okay, so now we, now we could do Electroman Adventures. All right, and next up, we have Geometrical Dominator. This level is very tricky. I actually beat it not not so long ago. I beat it a few hours ago, and it's pretty hard. And yeah, they they, they introduce to you the robot in this one, where it makes you jump a little higher. And yeah, all right, let's do the next one. Oh yeah, and, and I'm sorry, I messed up again. Before Electro Man Adventures, I was actually supposed to put Time Machine. It's eight stars. And there's a whole bunch of s three spikes, and they're very annoying. <coughs> yeah. And yeah. Okay, so now we could really do the next one. Next one. Hexagon Force. So this level is a very hard one, and yeah, it's pretty tricky. And so yeah, they really in they introduced the double, so you could go in double form. Okay, the one after the one after Time Machine, no, the one after Geometrical Dominator, Clutterfunk. This one is really hard because they introduced you to being small, being a small version. And it's really hard. That was after Geometric, that was <coughs> after Geometrical Dominator. Okay, next one, Electrodynamics. 12 stars. You could go, you go very fast in this one. You go very fast. It goes to three. It goes to three bars of speed, and it's very hard. Okay, so we're getting down to the final three. The final three. Third, club step. So, it was very tricky for me to decide if this or Theory of Everything 2 was harder. But I think Theory of Everything 2 might be a little harder because of all the tiny little... Yeah, Theory of Everything 2, I feel like, is like a easier version of deadlock and so club step is a very is a super different setup and it, it like yeah 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 they there's a part where you have to go through invisible blocks and there's and it, yeah it yeah, i can't even explain it's very hard that's what i have to say Okay, next one, you guys already know, because I told you guys mostly about it. Do you remember everything, too? It's tricky. It's kind of like the last, kind of like the block. It's the last level. And, yeah, there's a lot of invisible blocks parts. And, it, it, yeah, it's pretty hard. And now, the final one. The hardest one. What? I guess it's not there. All right, so now we, I guess we can't do this one. All right, so give me a minute. I'm oh, sorry, this takes forever. Searching it up. All right, so I don't think we're gonna, I don't think we're gonna do dead block today. We'll try one more time. So we're gonna go above and beyond. Instead of doing dead block, we're gonna show you dead blocked version two.
sure. Alright, so thank you guys for watching today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.